What is up all you serious people? PSP here, I'm Caitlin, and it's time to get serious. I reacted to a couple things earlier today with Julia. And um, I did not realize that the Greenland official trailer had dropped. Otherwise, we would have reacted to that as well. So I'm going to be reacting to it now. This is the new Gerard Butler disaster movie. Uh, I haven't seen the trailer yet, but just from the little like description with the video, it seems a lot like Geostorm. I actually worked on that movie and was pretty involved with the development of it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. If you didn't know, I did work in the industry for many years and I worked for four years at a company that made movies and TV shows. And that was one of them. And um, Gerard Butler was in that as well. And this seems very similar. So I'm going to try not to judge it too hard. So here we go. I'm going to watch the new Greenland official trailer with Gerard Butler. I'm excited to see what's in store. And I'm wondering if there's going to be any similarities between this and Geostorm because it seems like he just did this role a few years ago. Okay, let's check it out. I swear I'm gonna get my family into that bunker. Well, good, he's Scottish now. The only thing people want to talk about today is this Clark, this uh, interstellar comet. Right? I mean, it's, it's... Yeah, big news. Nice house, jeez. I don't see Clark. Oh, uh, maybe he's still sleeping. Dad. <laughs> Some of Clark's larger fragments are now expected to enter our atmosphere. That's right. I know that they're just... What are they saying? More of the same. Bet you it's gonna make a heck of a show. Whoa. One of the first chunks is about to hit. Hit? Only part of it. It's going in the ocean. Two. Would you look at that? One. Wait, hey, what is the explosion? That the fragment has hit Central Florida. Oh Holy sh! Wait, are some more pieces gonna hit? Come on, let's go. But the sky's on fire. Two days. They got it all wrong. There's a ton of fragments. Planet killers. Space agencies are predicting an extinction level event. We're gonna be together, all right, kiddo? We're just trying to get to safety. Oh, man. They've been tracking the military flights to bunkers in Greenland. It's their only chance. Like zombies. Oh man. Where is Ned? We'll find him. It's okay. Clark's largest fragment will hit in less than 24 hours. I swear I'm gonna get my family into that bunker. I know you will, son. I like him. If you are hearing this broadcast, seek shelter immediately. What is it? What's going on? If you are hearing this broadcast, oh seek shelter John, immediately. Hang on, Nathan. Seek shelter immediately. Seek shelter immediately. That scared me because of how real that could actually be. Geostorm was similar, it was an actual disaster movie, but um, the premise of Geostorm was mainly about global warming and sort of the, cha the rapid change in climate control. I'm not sure how much scientifically Geostorm was accurate or not, um, but it just seemed a little more over the top than this. This seems like it could get a little over the top, but for the most part, this seems pretty accurate to what would actually happen and this is something that could possibly happen and might even probably happen. Um, maybe not in our lifetime, but definitely in the future of the planet Earth. This is something that took the dinosaurs out. Um, at least that's the most popular theory. And it's something that 
is probable to happen again. And that really, that, 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 huh. that's just, this is an interesting time to come out with a movie like this. I'm not surprised at how popular it is. Um, but normally these type of movies for me are more fun to go see when, um, everything is normal and you're, you don't have anxiety or worries, um, with the state of, you know, society and, and the world. And right now we kind of already feel like that's pretty serious and heavy and something like this coming out during this time might be a little, um, might create a little bit of anxiety, at least for me, it's, it just seemed very real. <laughs> I know it's a movie and I, I I want to see it. I want to see it for sure. Um, if anything, just to um, sort of see what our reaction might be if something like this were to actually happen. I think it would be very similar to that. I think the um, zombie looking scene was really cool. I think that that would definitely happen. People would go crazy. People would swarm. People would riot and, you know, just act like they, they literally look like a horde of zombies trying to get on those jets and stuff. And that's interesting that Greenland has the bunkers. Um, I wonder why that is, or if there's any truth to that. I don't know a whole lot about, you know, disaster, um, plans or like protocol or like, you know, our plan B if, if something like this does happen. But, um, I, I have a feeling it would be similar there. You know, most people would that was just crazy when it hit Florida. It was just like, boom, just gone. I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a little shaken up just from the trailer. Cause you guys like this could actually happen. I don't know if I'm being crazy conspiracy theorist. I don't know. Just please tell me I am. Cause um, I'm a little rattled right now. Um, anyways, I'm glad that they let um, Gerard Butler keep his Scottish accent. That's something that is always a pet peeve of mine in all of his films. If he doesn't have a Scottish accent, and he's trying to put on an American accent, that is the worst thing ever. You just, it just becomes half Scottish, half bad American accent. And they should just let him be Scottish because that's what he's good at, that's what he can do. And he's not good at hiding that Scottish accent, that's for sure. I like how in the beginning of the trailer, everybody's acting like eating popcorn and watching it like a viewing party, kind of like watching like, you know, a rocket launch for the first time, like everybody was watching it on their TVs. Um, and then they're just, you know, sitting there eating popcorn, like, yeah, cool, this is a fun thing. And then it hits the ocean, and then it's just like, boom. And it's like, oh, okay, this is a little different than we expected. It's just crazy. It's a crazy time for this to be coming out. It's just, whew. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be researching um, meteors and asteroids and the chances of them hitting Earth. And, you know, there was one projected to hit Earth, um, but... Anyways, happy, happy thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this in the comments down below. Um, and if you think I'm overreacting or not. And if you guys are um, planning on watching this or not, I think it's coming out in August. I will say though, the whole family situation of him getting like separated from his family and like him um, having like a kid with it looked like he was together with that woman, but I know the description is saying that that's his estranged wife. That is a very similar plot line to Geostorm. It's almost exactly the same. So check out that movie if you haven't yet. Um, I'm not saying it, like, it got the best reviews, but it would be interesting to compare the two. And I would like to take a moment to thank our patrons from over on uh, patreon.com. Thank you, Bradley, David C., David S., Dennis, Esteban, Jane, Kevin, Vicky, and Warren P. So much for supporting the Serious um, channel. Thank you for being part of our little Serious family. We really appreciate the support. It goes a very long way. And if any of you are interested in becoming a patron, head over to patreon.com slash perfectly serious. I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, so you can just click on that too and check them all out. Um, for as little as a dollar a month, you get to become a patron, get shout outs in every single reaction video, plus an exclusive preview of every single reaction video unlisted before anybody else gets to see it. So you'd be the first to watch, the first to leave a comment, and the reward tiers go up from there. Um, so check them out, guys. And if you cannot um, support the channel financially, no problem. All you um, have to do is hit subscribe, and that is supporting the channel more than you could ever know. And if you like the channel, you like what we see, you want us to keep doing it, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. We're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers and we're almost, we're, we're pushing to 9,000 right now. So we're climbing, we're getting there guys and it's thanks to you. So thank you. You guys are beautiful and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for getting serious with me. Bye.